Hi Pisces, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the week of September the 4th. Okay, so this is a very interesting week. I mean, we've, we've got a full moon in your sign and uh, there's lots of other things happening. So for there to be a full moon, we've got the moon and the sun opposite. Okay, so the moon is in your sign, the sun is opposite in your career zone. So there's a lot going on in your work and your career right now. Um, and also we have the sun is opposite Neptune in your sign so it's very inspired it's romantic uh, it's about connecting with with people keeping things light but also you know getting into some soul what I would call soul a death a depth okay so you you want to connect with people that of course complement you in a positive way you know the vibe and the intuitive vibe and the sensitivity between you and others is so very important Pisces um, and in this relationship area it gives you a chance with the full moon it's a couple of things it gives you a chance to get some clarity about your love life or your relationships it also gives you a chance to heal relationships it brings it up to the surface and it brings it up to the surface in a way that you can see things more clearly now what does that mean it's, it could mean different for each and every one of you some of you might go you know it's time to part company the full moon does bring to our heads and clears the way for a new beginning for others you might think you know what things are great I, all I need to do is just change my attitude about something sometimes it's not about changing the situation it's just about changing how you feel think about the situation uh, for others you can reconnect with someone um, and uh, you know it's possible to meet somebody as well so it's all sparking off your relationship area particularly as Mars the planet of passion is going to move into this area at the same time and later in the week communication planet Mercury is also going to move into your relationship area so before that happens, Mercury is coming out of retrograde, okay? So we've got, and when Mercury comes out of retrograde, a retrograde planet, it's and with Mercury particularly, it's the two or three days either side. Uh, some astrologers will, astrologers will say five to seven. To me, it's like that two or three days either side, which can be the most disruptive. However, in saying that, I often feel it, you know, five or seven. But it, it it's that like couple of days either side that things can get chaotic disruptive unsettled uh, communication mix-ups and you know variably it's just like an unsettled energy so at the same time we have the full moon Mars moving opposition between the Sun and Neptune and Mercury out of retrograde so right at the start of the week don't be too concerned if things aren't or don't seem to be working the way that you want them to be or you feel a little bit sort of uncomfortable in your own skin I get that unsort of settled feeling I love that term uncomfortable in, my, in your own skin I only heard that in America I don't think we have that in Australia we might now um, uh, but and so that I have a cancer moon so I guess it sort of comes from the water sign so you know let that pass don't be too concerned about it too much just let it pass see what happens okay because by the end of the week when mercury the communication planet comes in we also at the end of the week will have a connection between the sun and pluto and these two together a potent powerful energy so things can start to move forward so you can start to see development but certainly um, at the start of it there's the more organized or in one sense I want to say because uh, before it moves into your relationship area it's in your area of productivity so in one sense I want to say get organized and another sense it's like you know what um, it probably doesn't matter how organized you are anyway because things can change okay so you want to keep your schedule get organized but keep your schedule a little flexible if you work in the film industry you'll probably know the film industry's term 
hurry up and wait. <laughs> it was in Australia anyway. Okay, so um, things are, it's developing. I do have a great vibe out this week. And because as things like finally come out of that Mercury retrograde and start to move forward, then that has a really good vibe about it, okay? Now the card that I've selected for you is John Holland's Psychic Tarot Pack, my favorite pack at the moment anyway, is a Spiritual Union, okay? So, and that two, I love the two at the top because the two is like a number of harmony. It's the number of um, settling together. It's ruled by Venus in the horoscope. We've got like the cup there coming together and growth. So, you know, as I said, with the full moon, it can, it can you know, give you clarity, bring you together, it can also, you know, you can also make a conscious decision to pull apart. But either way, it's going to give you um, a union in some way, okay? All right, so thanks so much for watching. Please go on to jenniferangel.com, subscribe to my newsletter. I would really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Bye.